a smaller <laughs> beaker, but that's okay. Now, does anyone need me to go through the color sequence again, or do you think you remember? We got it. I got it. Like, kill yourself. Okay. Now, once I pour this in here, and I'll hold. Can everybody see this right here? Okay. Yes. Okay. So I'll put it in there. Hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, and, and uh, malonic acid, and I'll talk about it in a second. Okay. Let's watch. There is kind of amber. Oh, 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 blue like that. <laughs> now it goes to purple. I think I see purple instead of blue, and then it's going to go back to uh, clear. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it'll go there. Okay, there it goes back to clear to amber, <laughs> and then <laughs> what? To blue. <laughs> How long would that last? It'll go on five or six minutes, I think. It actually works a little better. There it goes. <laughs> you could show little kids this and be like, oh, this is oh yeah, magic. well, you, I'm a magician, you know, that looks like it is magic. But there's like 27 or 28 different pathways that this thing works, and nobody knows for sure which pathway this thing is taking, but we do know this that it goes, that it takes iodine to make this work. And remember, if you've ever put a, done a, a starch test on potatoes, if you put iodine on potato, you get a reaction. And that's kind of this. I'll just set it here and we'll look at it this way and it's it, I think it works better if you stir it a little bit but it'll still do it that way it gets back and it's getting a little more amber you can kind of see how it happened when you stir it, it doesn't quite work like that but that's at least a white background you can see it clear and then go back the blue you can see it's the way it starts but it's a pretty cool thing. I 